Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Do I remember Netscape? Of course I remember Netscape. And I never liked it. Ever. Never liked it. Not one bit. Couldn't stand Netscape. I know I wasn't the only one. And a few of you out there said, well, what was wrong with it? Of course, I was the kind of person who didn't like to wait 30 seconds from the time that I double-clicked an icon to the time that I was able to browse a, a web page. I, I, I was all about speed. A few years ago, and I still have this post in my archives on my blog at chris.perlo.com, Apple announced that they were going to be doing their own web browser. And at that point in time, the Mozilla project was pretty well established. Uh, but they decided, Apple decided to go with another project, WebKit, and develop it you know, even further, enhance it, uh, make it better for the community. And WebKit is certainly around today. You can download the latest binary for either Linux, Mac OS X, or Windows uh, right now. I mean, the latest nightly build. You can go to webkit.org and uh, grab that browser if you want to give it a shot. Uh, of course, they built Safari on top of WebKit, and I, I really didn't like the fact that they were using WebKit rather than a part of the Mozilla project. And you can read the, the post that I made at that point in time. I couldn't figure out why. Well, fast forward to today, and you know that I'm using Safari as my default web browser for one reason, really, and that's its speed. It's fast. It's fast not only on Mac OS X, but it's certainly fast on Windows to the point where I set Safari as the default web browser for Ponzi. And, uh, you know, I can't say that she's appreciated that change. Uh, I think she's uh, also under the belief that it is faster. Now, granted, she moved from Internet Explorer to uh, Firefox to Safari. Now, she liked Firefox, but ultimately went back to Internet Explorer. Uh, then when I moved her to Safari, she said, well, yeah, the web seems faster. Well, it's very much true. WebKit is optimized for speed. It's one of the reasons why Apple chose it to develop Safari upon. Well, if you haven't noticed the uh, title of this video here, at least inside this video, it says Google Chrome. This is going to be Google's web browser, Google Chrome. Uh, as of the time of this recording, uh, around midnight today, September 2nd, 2008, it hasn't been officially released. However, Google has uploaded documentation that was shared earlier today that uh, at first people really weren't sure what to make of it. They're like, is this for real? Yeah, it's for real. Uh, Google commissioned a comic book artist to explain why Google was going to develop their own web browser. And if you go to books.google.com, and you search for Google Chrome, you'll find uh, this comic uh, that was uh, illustrated by Scott McCloud explaining everything that you ever wanted to know about the first release of Google Chrome. And it was done in such a way that not only will power users appreciate Google Chrome, but you know darn well that as soon as you read this as a power user, you are going to be recommending Google Chrome to friends and family, so long as it's stable, of course, like I said, as of this time, it hasn't officially been released, but documentation has already been seeping out onto the web uh, to the point where we're able to discover features not only through the official comic, which is better than any README file. I mean, if, if README files were comics, I think more people would read the README files because I read this whole comic. I just, I just kept reading and reading, and I'm like, this is amazing. The thought that has gone in to Google Chrome has been astounding. It's not even uh, been released yet, and I am just excited to see it, uh, for real. Um, of course, the first release is only gonna be available for Windows, so Mac and Linux users will have to wait. That being said, uh, it's certainly something that I am going to be switching Ponzi over to almost immediately, assuming, that, of course, that it, it is stable, and I have every reason to believe that Google wouldn't release a product like this unless it was stable enough. I mean, if you don't have a web browser working, uh, that, that's a big problem, and I don't think Google would want to release a web browser that wasn't stable. That would be a, a very, 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 very huge red mark on the Google brand. Uh, it only makes sense that Google would release a browser. Uh, why did they wait so long? Who really knows? But the nice thing is, at least for those of us who've been used to Safari or WebKit, either one, uh, Google Chrome is based on WebKit.
Why? Why is that important? Well, not only do web pages look good, but they load fast. And Google has gone in and they've optimized the way pages run and load and are managed so that, you know, if you ever, you know, had like five tabs open and all of a sudden your whole browser locks up because one of those web pages that you have open is just freezing the whole browser, Google's taking care of that problem through some re-engineering or the way that it renders uh, scripts and potentially even plugins for their web browser. Uh, they have gone literally back to the drawing board and looked at all the problems, the foibles of web browsing today and really done a pretty good job and, and this is again just according to the documentation that's been released right now it's easy for you to pour through in fact even right now even if you've downloaded at this point in time of course after this video has been recorded and uploaded if you have downloaded a copy uh, of Google Chrome and have been playing with it you still owe it to yourself to read this comic I'm this is, if you read nothing else this week read this comic come on that's good homework because you're going to appreciate what Google has done and why this is going to be a much better web browser for you today. I think that within a year's time, uh, I believe this is probably a liberal uh, projection, but I believe that within a year's time, Google Chrome will be used on 10% of the desktops out there. Uh, that's my estimation. Think about it. How do most people experience the web? Well, through a web browser, right? And where do they go to find things on the web? Google. Google, web browser, huge brand, huge brand potential. Think about it. Uh, I know that this will be Ponzi's default web browser. Uh, I think she may uh, not be receptive to some of the UI. Uh, I don't think it's going to be as uh, difficult for her to adapt to as it may if you happen to be a power user and you like things the way they are in your web browser, in which case you're probably going to stick with Firefox. And that's fine. No one's saying that you, you should switch. I haven't even seen this thing run. But I can tell you that if what they claim is remotely true in execution, this is a complete reinvention of the web browser. And you're thinking, well, how could it be different? Just trust me. You're going to find out what forethought went into how the security model worked, how um, the uh, page management and rendering model worked, how all of these uh, new technologies that are now thrown at us, how the web browser can handle them better. Google has potentially helped move the entire industry forward by releasing Google Chrome. I haven't even seen it yet, but this comic has got me so excited about seeing this on the desktop. My only hope, my only wish, is that the UI is not a Google UI. Eh, you know, as far as the web is concerned, Google's done a pretty good job, but they've always kind of fallen short in the user interface department with their desktop products. It's just not really Google's thing. My hope, though, again is that uh, this will be a lean clean mean experience is one of the reasons why I like Safari is because I don't want all that junk to come with it I just want a fast web browser I want a fast web experience that's why I like WebKit slash Safari it, th that's the only reason why I, I know Firefox offers plugins and a million different things that I can do with it but it adds bloat uh, I don't think pages run very uh, fast inside of Firefox uh, I, I find everything works better in Safari or WebKit. So with uh, Google now uh, using WebKit as the foundation uh, for Chrome, well, you know, it's just exciting, okay? It's like going to be a new web browser, but a very familiar web browser, a familiar brand, and you're using Google anyway. So, yeah, why not give their web browser a shot? It's not going to cost you anything. It's open source. In fact, if you're a developer, you could take everything they're, they're doing in Chrome, you could download it, and compile your own web browser based on the technologies that Google has assembled for you. And, and their existing projects or their uh, projects from Google, and they're all brought together. So you can make your own experience. I mean, you could do this already. I mean, WebKit's been out there. Of course, you know Firefox and Mozilla. I mean, there's open source projects related to web browsing, but... Uh, Google is 
read the comic. Okay, just just read the comic. That's all I'm going to ask at this point in time. And then let me know what you think. What do you think? Is this a game changer or is it just kind of like another web browser to you? After reading the comic, potentially after trying it for the first time, I want to know your opinion. My email address, chris at perillo.com. And, of course, you're also welcome to stop by the chat room, especially in a day like today when you have a, a huge software release uh, that everyone seems to be talking about, at least everyone that I know has been talking about this. Uh, the chat room is typically talking tech, software, hardware, services. You never really know uh, what we're going to be talking about, but it's usually pretty geeky. It's a, that's a, if you stop by at any point in time, it's, it's, it's going to be a likely a, a, a discussion that is centered around something related to technology. And then, of course, I'm right here streaming my life online 24 hours a day, uh, right here in front of this webcam. In fact, you'll, if you're there at the time that I'm able to try it for the first time with everybody else, you will see my first reactions. In fact, I may actually record live my first reactions in trying uh, Google Chrome inside a virtual machine here. Um, of course, that would be running Windows because it's only going to be available for Windows up front, and then they're going to be releasing uh, Mac and Linux versions at uh, at some point in the hopefully the near future. So uh, anyway, stop by. As I said, we're open all the time at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.